Oh my god, that is sick. PlayStation 4, iOS, Android, Windows, and Xbox. <laughs> Let me stop. Alright, what is going on guys? Fabo's back again coming at you with the Oh my god, bro. Let's just get right into it. Version 1.1. Now, we have a lot of information to break down. This video might be relatively long. I'm going to try to do my best to keep it somewhat compact. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be going over literally everything that we have available to us. So here, so here we go. Version 1.1 trailer. The trailer, I've already seen it. I'm not going to lie. It's, it, it's, glor it's glorious, bro. It's, it's freaking glorious. Oh, so, good. so the Fatui starts attacking, right? And I'm not sure what this is, but it's like a hydro serpent. Yeah, they go hard, bro. Child gameplay. With his pole arm, he is a bow user with a different stance. Boom, boom. Different elemental bursts for each of his stances. Zong Li, the godlike Geo user. Oh, he's so freaking cool, dude. Diona and Xin Yan. And that is uh, Ning Wang's palace in the background. Slam down. Look at look at the hmm. look at the destruction that this man can do, bro. And one thing to note, the way that this looks leads me to believe that we might actually end up getting an electro version of our main character. If that's the case, that actually seems pretty cool. Now the color isn't electro, but um. I don't know. I mean, I would quite like it. So yeah, a new star approaches November 11. Keep in mind that we are getting a six-week uh, difference in content drop. So 1.2 will probably come out in six weeks from November 11th, as well as ev a new banner almost every single three weeks. Uh, so I'm very, very excited to see exactly what everything comes down. Like what, what everything just boils down to because this game has a lot of life to it, right? Um, this is going to be the co-op unreconciled stars. Um, the bonuses that you'll get are different wings. You'll see the Leo A wings and uh and the Monstat wings, right? These are like the Skyward Wings and uh I don't even know what you would want to call that. And we also have the free official, which actually ended up not being false. The rewards for uh, the co-op mode is going to be primo gems, some weird crown. Not really sure exactly what this little, what this little crown is. Uh, we got some hero XP, the uh, ascension material for animal users, and then over here is the book of freedom, which can be used on Klee, Sucrose, Barbara, and Amber. Right, I remember the garbage. Um, yeah. So let's uh, keep going. Let's see exactly what we got going on over here. Wish I could remove the Billy Billy thing. The art on it is so good. Wow. <laughs> you see, I wish. I wish. And, 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 and I don't mean to knock you guys over there on the Bleach Brave Soul side, but your streams, bro. Y'all need to have some more excitement, man. Like, guess if, if you're not that excited, have someone else that's actually excited for the content that you guys are producing, you know? I ain't trying to throw shade, but it is what it is. Let's just move on to the next part. Alright, so here we're going to get into the gameplay. Keep in mind that the gameplay is going to be on that side, so I have to move myself. Boom, boom. So first off, Child. Child is a bow user. He does have a pole arm stance that also lets him... Yep, there's his pole arm stance. You'll see that he is a hydro user. Ah, oh, he looks so cool. Boom, boom. 
So here is his elemental burst. He does have two different elemental bursts depending on the stance that you're currently using. His elemental burst for his bow actually looks like it targets enemies. I'm assuming that you'll be able to deal more damage to them. I'm not quite sure exactly what he does. I don't want to uh, spend too much time going into these characters because once they come out, then we'll, we'll be doing reviews and everything like that. So until then, we can't really... I mean, I guess we could speculate, but we can't really tell how good or how bad characters are. Though for the most part, honestly, like I feel like they do a very good job at just making all the characters good in their own way. Like I've seen Barbara's hit for 200k, I've seen Deluxe hit for 150k, <laughs> I've seen Catching hit for like 300k, probably like, like the numbers that people are pushing are crazy, right? Yeah, so with his polearm state, he actually does break it off into his daggers. Uh, so they kind of replete the gameplay over and over again while they comment on it. So I'm going to skip on to the next one. Alright, and next on the list we do have Diona. Now Diona is going to be a cryo bow user, and she is also a healer, which is actually really, really interesting. Boom, boom. So let's uh, skip to her actual gameplay. Boom. Either way, she's going to be a 4 star, so she should be relatively obtainable. I'm hoping... Oh, that is her elemental burst. Okay, that's so weird because it's so fast paced. She doesn't get like a nice little uh, thingy. You'll see here, this is the elemental skill and this is the elemental burst. So her elemental burst is her heal. So she's not going to have too much craziness in terms of cryo aside from that elemental burst. I wonder what the cooldown is going to be on that thing and how easy it is to get your, uh, your energy back with this character. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much Diona. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Let's just move on to the next character, which is Shin Yan. Ah, Shin Yan's design looks so cool. She got the pyro emblem on her little backpack thing. Now, uh, Shin Yan is primarily a defensive Claymore user. She is obviously a pyro user, if you can't tell by the damn flames. And uh, yeah, I mean, she looks overall relatively sick. Her damage is scaled based on her defense, which is really good considering, like I said, she's a defensive based unit. So if you've been working on your Noels and stuff like that, honestly, like almost all that gear should translate fairly well unless it's like specifically like Geo gear that you're putting on your Noel, which I don't think really work i mean i guess it, it, it would work but yeah <laughs> so yeah so shin yen you see that she provides barriers with her elemental skill and then her elemental burst is that big explosion which is really 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 nice i do want to see that elemental burst one more time yeah oh, that's so cool their animations are spot on dude Alright, so let's move on to Zhang Li, which is the last one. Zhang Li, bro. That kick, though. Oh my gosh, dude. They do so well. <laughs> they do so well. Oh my god. So, uh, Zhang Li is a polearm user. He provides a lot of buffs to his party members with his elemental burst dealing massive damage and causing the new Petrify uh, debuff. Debuff? Don't want to call it debuff or status element. <laughs> oh man, he looks so sick. He's also rocking his polearm. So that is not the Jade polearm, that is a new polearm that probably will be introduced when he comes out. <laughs> Gotta get that money, right? <laughs> Damn man, I really hope they like raise the free-to-play primo gems i feel like they don't give enough for like they're showing off all these characters but the reality is they don't really give enough to to go crazy you know like a free-to-play player could like save up and only have like a two multi video like uh, that's not cool <laughs> like like imagine trying to do a summoning video and you only were able to get like two multis and what are you gonna do singles you're never gonna pull you're not gonna pull anything for four stars Unless you want to tell your friends. Unless you want to go out and tell your friends. Hey, yo, I got Zong Lee off a single. Dang, how many singles do you do? A hundred. You played yourself. <laughs> that, so that elemental burst causes the petrification, as you see here. I'm interested to see if they have something along the lines of shatter, like they have with freeze enemy, like enemies that are frozen. 
That's his elemental skill. Bring, uh, I believe it raises up your defense, but I could be wrong. You'll see that it provides a barrier to the allies. And then his elemental burst, just that big geo meteor. <laughs> it looks so cool. Did you just say the N word? I'm not saying we should cancel him. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. It's, 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 it's just the language, alright? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <laughs> Okay, so now as you see here, we are going into the 1.1 story mode. You'll see that catching is going to be introduced. They have a lovely portrait of Zhongli, Child. Uh, Paimon, Zhang Ling, the main characters, Ning Guang and Zhao. For some reason, the female protagonist, I was like, who is that? And I'm like, oh yeah, right, I didn't pick her. I like her dress. Sometimes I, I wonder if, if I should have picked her or if I should have if if I, if I picked the guy. Alright, so I'm going to come over here for now, just because we were kind of done with the gameplay portion. Uh, here we go with Ning Guang looking down from her palace. Keep in mind that her palace is actually way up in the sky, which is really cool. You see the jagged rocks over there. Uh, you see the jagged rocks up there, right? Like this area. I wonder if we'll actually be able to get over there. That'd be kind of cool. I'm hoping that we can, though, to be honest. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, this is going to be Ganyu. She is a supposed half Adepti, half human hybrid. Um, looks like the Adepti decided to get in some cheeks, so I'm interested to see which Adept this is, this is the baby of. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, maybe she is the Coco Goat that uh, Chi Chi wanted us to look for because she does have the horns and everything. Maybe Chi Chi didn't have coconut milk at all. Maybe Chi Chi had some Ganyu's Chi Chi's. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me stop. All right, and then of course a portrait of Zhao. He's going to be uh, coming back into the story as well. Now I'm not sure when this character actually ends up coming, like will end up coming out. It looks like he was so broken that they're actually pushing him back and making new characters and releasing them first, which is really funny. Uh, here we have some Zhong Li, Paimon, and protagonist. I Yo, Paimon got that cake? Paimon got that cake? No, I'm just kidding. That bitch probably wearing diapers, bro. <laughs> Let's be real here. That girl probably wearing diapers, bro. I ain't even, I ain't never see her go to the bathroom. I'm not changing that diaper, though. Got Ningguang catching Ganyu. It looks interesting, because it looks like you're being confronted, or you're confronting them. Alright, so let's move on. Okay, so here we're getting into like heavy spoilers in terms of like the new weekly boss fight against Child. Um, for those that want to see this, this is going to be the animation that we missed out on in the actual gameplay that we got that one to, uh, that one day from Zen Yet, right? So let's uh, let's watch this together. If you guys don't want spoilers, um, I gave you fair warning to click out of the video. Okay. Oh, his transformation mechanic. I'll raise the volume. Let me raise the volume a bit. So he is the uh, harbinger of the Fatui, so keep that in mind. So it's not really uh, beyond the realm of possibility that we will encounter him in a fight, right? And since he is a cool enemy, like it's nice to see that he, we're getting some representation that we're actually going to be fighting these harbingers, which means that we could potentially end up fighting Signora, and since Child is coming out as a playable character, and he's a harbinger, and we get to fight him, chances are I get to wail out for my wife. Yeah, you know, the things I would do to get kicked in the stomach by that bitch. Mm. Alright. Oh, he breaks the ground. <laughs> Yo, damn. Oh, did he go face first? Hold on, hold on. I want to see this. Pop. Oh. Damn, that's a face plant. 
But how did Paimon fall? Bitch, you fly. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand. Oh, and he comes down. Okay. Wait, did he? Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Yo, that's exactly like Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. You fight them, you beat them up, they transform, they break the ground under them, and they come down in their transform state. That's gold. That's actually gold. I will say this though, they are taking inspiration from a lot of good quality gacha games. I will say that. The only thing they need to change is lower the resin, uh, the resin cooldown. I don't care about having more resin available. Lower the cooldown so that I can log in and have some more fun. Like, and, and get progress though. I get that you can farm bosses, but bosses isn't really, it's not fun for me. Like roaming the map to find the same bosses in the same locations over and over again. Alright, uh, let's move in a bit, let's move over a bit. Okay, so here we are coming into the new reputation system, uh, and this is where I'm going to start talking about everything over here in the official Reddit. Uh, one for each region, Monset and Liyue. There are four ways to level up your reputation. Bounties, requests, oh, it's easier if I do this. Uh, boom, boom. There are four ways to level up your reputation level, and that will be through uh, bounties, requests, world exploration and monster quests and of course you have leo quests over here uh keep in mind that this is going to be the exploration progress right that's going to be uh a world exploration most likely 27 percent. yeah so that's going to be that monster exploration progress 40 percent 60 percent 20 percent achieved uh, not achieved not achieved right and that's going to give you uh whatever this is dr something i don't know if like, I don't think that this is going to be a, your adventure rank at all because adventure rank is usually green. So that's going to be definitely a new way to... Uh, it's just some more content for the game, which I think is going to be really cool. So you're going to be able to hunt down these enemies. Finally, we have a use, of actu a use for actually killing those wind sprites, which don't even drop anything so they were official they were originally just a complete waste of time right it's a separate level compared to adventure or friendship levels a new npc for reputation system will one will be in each location new wings name cards food recipes something that looks like crafting recipes as well yeah that looks like crafting recipes um so feature unlocked monstat mining out crop search might be an exploration thing uh did they specify that it was going to be an exploration thing because it kind of looks like an exploration thing uh, mining outcrop search. Not sure exactly what that's going to be. After reaching level uh, of Reputation 4, you'll get discounts. Uh, Reputation 4, a feature unlocked Monstat Merchant discounts. So things are going to be cheaper in the city, which is going to be really, really nice for those that um, do a lot of uh, enhancing or want to buy the cooking materials. Uh, let's see over here. Other stuff, new area, most likely a golden palace. You'll see here, this is Ningguang's, or we assume to be Ningguang's palace. So I think it's a pretty safe bet. Uh, and then a new mob looks like that Mora Ferret. It can drop gems and other random items. Resin will be unlocked from 120 to 160, which I don't really like that. I, I'd rather have a shorter cooldown so that I could play more with friends and stuff. The amount of times that I'll literally like be with my friends and they'll be like, it's like, oh, Spite, you want to join our world? And their world is like world three, world two, and I'm world five. So my resin, uh, the the rewards that I get at world five are so much better than world three or world two that I don't want to spend my valuable resin there because resin costs money at this point. Like if I want to keep refilling, it's, it, it literally costs me like one to two, it costs me like three bucks a day, like literally three dollars a day, which I don't mind spending because like, I've always been pay to play in games, all right? I have had people ask me whether I'm going to go free to play to join the club. Bro, like, I don't care about joining the cool kids club. Like, bro, like, if someone's going to do something, they're, let, let them do what they want to do, but I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> it is what it is. And as far as promoting gacha games, bro, I've been playing gacha games literally for the last, like, 15 years of my life, bro. Like, this ain't, th this isn't new to me. Uh, new quick slot uh, for food and anemo stones and anemo bottles. Uh, this is going to be quite interesting. Uh, no, it doesn't look like they actually showed the stuff. Uh, we'll get into it in the actual video itself. Unreconciled stars. We are actually going to go over that in a bit. Uh, no news mentions about that. If Genshin ZHB30 Global 160 Primo Gems, you must be AR10+. plus. So for those that want the redeem code, I'm actually going to leave that in the description. I feel like that would be easier. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have gone over most of the stuff here, it looks like you'll be able to trade in what you get. 
Okay, so it looks like they opened it up. And uh, this is literally what we just went over. It's going to be the Mondstadt reputation over here. Once you get to level 4, you will be able to get your discounts, etc. And this is going to be Leo A. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like by rank 4, you get the Mondstadt discount. And then after you get to rank 5... Uh, you get this material, whatever that is, and then rank 7, you get the name card, and rank 8 is when you will be getting your wings. So this is not something that you're going to be getting in a day. <laughs> that's for sure. And I'm assuming that that's how you get the Leo A, uh, the Leo A wings as well. Ah, okay. So this brings up to the next area. You'll see here the teleportation, uh, the teleporters. Um, but first, let's talk about the Animoculus Finder and the Geoculus Finder. These you'll be able to trade in five dandelion seeds, five Cecilia, and one crystal chunk. And what this does is it allows you to search up the next Animoculus. Uh, let's see if they actually like show you. Mm. Boom, boom. Oh, so they are using it. Boom. Ah, uh, oh, okay. So it doesn't even tell you exactly where it is. Just the general area of where it will be. Interesting. Okay, so I mean, it's still going to be a little search. And I still recommend doing using the interactive map because that'll pinpoint it for you. But being able to see exactly where it's at is nice. Uh, one thing to note is you'll also see that it actually has a cooldown of whatever two ten seconds it might even be longer because like he might he like he look it looks like he teleported out right uh you can make multiples of these and it looks like it only lets you find one <laughs> so be very careful with using these make sure that you use the interactive map in order to actually progress a little bit quicker uh the teleporter waypoint uh we're gonna get into that in a bit i don't know exactly what it takes to craft that Okay, so here we will actually see the use of the teleporter waypoint, which is really, 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 really cool. So you see, you just place it down, and it is permanently there. I'm not sure how long it... I, I don't know if it'll last forever. Ah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Boom, boom, we actually got a little bit of more information. Boom, you see that? That looks like we actually have a timer on it. Now, I'm not sure exactly when it runs out, because like... 623 this might be server wide they might have made this video a long time ago too so just keep that in mind this teleporter waypoint you'll be able to place it down not sure how long it lasts but being able to just place it down and then teleport to that area can come in very clutch especially if like say it's not very expensive to make if it's not expensive to make you can place it down and just have all your friends like teleport to it just like uh just like this uh wolf boss for example sometimes it's really frustrating fighting this wolf boss and then your ally dies early because they just made a mistake i mean like honest mistakes happen and then they have to walk all the way back which can be very very frustrating for especially for newer players that are new to the boss fight or if you're ar40 and you didn't level up your characters well enough ah there it is so the z okay my dog is in the my dog's in the way hold up i almost ran over my dog my bad okay so you'll see over there under the z key you actually have another hot bar so he actually cycles boom boom there so you'll see that there he has food that actually heals you boom boom but he cycles it into the revival food uses the revival food upon uh, switching to Zhong Li, and now he is actually able to use his character. He no longer has to open up the menu anymore, which is really, 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 really clutch. I like that. All right, moving on to the next part. Ah, here is Wei. Uh, you'll see here he is just an overworld uh, boss. Not really boss, but he does definitely have more health than the little Mora ferret. Like, you'll see that you're actually, like, fighting him. <laughs> the music is gold. There he goes, and he goes into his little uh, cabinet. Like, like he go. Wait, 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 what? What is that? He goes into his briefcase, bro. This dude literally runs into his briefcase. That's gold. Now he actually is said to drop gems and random items, but let's see if that actually counts as primo gems or not. Cause it might not. I feel like. I, f I feel like they're going to be posting a lot of stuff on where to find these guys. Because if he drops Primo Gems and he spawns every day, we'll see what's up. Now, this is the beautiful artwork for the Crucible game mode that we were talking about. And uh, let's get into this because we actually get some more gameplay of Zhong Li and Child. Boom, boom. 
Ah, okay, here we go. So there you see it. We have the Hero's Wit. Book of Freedom and the free official copy. So that leak actually ended up being true, which is really, really, really cool. It just wasn't for the co op event that had passed. Um, you'll be able to pick up a free copy of Fischl. With Fischl is an actually excellent unit. I'd argue that Fischl is pretty much a five star. Like she's amazing. Okay. Uh, here are the rewards. It looks like we're getting a new type of currency. I'm not sure exactly what this is going to signify and what this is used for, but I'm assuming that it, there's a currency shop for this event because at the top here you see the same currency. Um, it does cost 40 fragile. Excuse me. It does cost 40 resin, which uh, in my opinion kind of sucks. So here we go. Actual gameplay. Oh man, child looks so cool. Waiting the 10 seconds that we normally waited. That is his idle pose that he does after you idle for too long. Now that's cool because they're they're playing with Zhong Li, Chao, Diona, and uh, Xin Yan. Oh, they comboed the elemental burst. That's cool. He he already got his elemental burst energy back. That's crazy. There's the meteor. <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. Hold up. Zong Li, you'll see that when he casts the meteor, it looks like he's in place for the bit, right? And then he actually has an AoE circle. Yeah, he's so regal, bro. <laughs> he looks so good. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be very similar to the Crucible event. You have the... the um, the progress bar at the top over here, 600 out of 2,000. So it looks like it's going to be the same, pr pretty much the same thing as the Crucible, just a bit different. It looks like you're not actually grabbing little squares, you're just fighting enemies, which is pretty cool. <laughs> just all the elemental bursts trying to finish off that final enemy. So does that enemy give you the 300 to finish off the event? Oh, the final enemy. Oh, that's easy. Though. Oh, it's already done. Okay. Yeah, so 249. That's going to be very interesting to play with friends. It looks fun because it actually looks like it's like gauntlet. You're not like chasing and... I, I, I hate fetch quests. <laughs> I hate fetch quests so much. And uh, that pretty much concludes the entirety of the stream. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I tried to compact it as much as I could. Uh, it Honestly, version 1.1, there looks like there looks to be a lot of content that we are actually going to be able to enjoy for quite some time. Uh, keep in mind that if you rush the content in this game, you're going to be left with pretty much nothing to do. I am AR42. I have gotten to AR42 just simply by playing the game from after rank 40. After rank 40, you usually run out of quests. Um, you still have some fragile resins, but like some of the stages can take very, very long to do if you're not playing with four other players, which if you're rank 40 now, you know exactly how like difficult it can be to have other friends that you actually talk to naturally be on the same level as you. Usually you'll have to party up with new players that just happen to have reached that rank with you just so that you actually have someone to play with. It's very annoying to, and I, and I don't mean to be rude, it's very annoying to like not be able to use my resin in another friend's world because the rewards that you get in your friend's world is significantly just not worth your resin since resin is so damn expensive, right? So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. You know, guys, grind, I'll catch you, pick me up, say bless, like, comment, and subscribe if you know, if you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, yo, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I definitely could use the help and I'll uh, see y'all in the next one. Peace.